Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've got a study with me today. So I didn't actually start this revision as early as I wanted to, but that's fine, we can deal with that. Anyway, I started out by writing a to-do list of what I wanted to do for that day, which it actually ended up being a really productive day, which I didn't think it would be, so I was quite chuffed with that. So yeah, I just wrote down a to-do list for both today and some things that I need to do at the end of this week. Um, just kind of, you know, getting my ideas together. I mean, it was a Monday morning, so I want the quickest start ever. Um, just little FYI so this all makes sense. I'm currently on study leave. I only have one more exam, which is my C2 exam for maths. It's basically, I've done my C1 and D1. C1 went terrible, by the way. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be the equivalent to my AS for maths. So that is what I'm revising right now. I've got my C2 book and I'm literally going through it chapter by chapter and writing down what I'm like, oh gosh, I can't really remember how to do that and things that I'm like not as confident on. And I'm basically writing a to-do list for C2 of things I want to go over or check. Blah, 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 you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm literally just going through the whole book. I then didn't really want to have to do this next bit, but I wanted to do a C1, no, C2 paper later on that day. But I realized there was a C1 paper that I'd started but hadn't finished. I think I had like a few more questions on it. So I then did that. I didn't obviously want to, I didn't need to, but I just wanted to finish off the paper. I didn't want to leave a paper half done. Um, and then it meant I could go on to the C2 paper I was doing later. So I just quickly whizzed through that. <laughs> I think doing all of that took me about an hour and 15 minutes and then I had a like 45 minute lunch. Then I went on and basically went through this list and went through every chapter and as you can see I'm like ticking things off the list that I've been through and I at this point I was making cue cards so like formulas and things I like really need to know for C2. I've decided I'm going to do cue cards for each of the chapters and colour code them for each of the chapters so this one was white very interesting i know um so that was what i was doing for this one and i just wrote down all the formulas and stuff because yes you get given a formula book in the exam with some of these on but that formula book is quite big and i don't want to have to faff around looking for it for the formulas i'd rather just know them off the top of my head so And then because I wanted to give a C2 paper like a decent try, what I did was went through those cue cards I just made and so that I knew all the formulas and stuff. And so I did the paper as if it was an actual exam kind of thing, although I didn't really time it, but I think I did do it in less than an hour and a half, um, which is the time you get given for the exam anyway. As you can see, I've got a lot of C2 revision going on. It's because it's my C2 exam on Thursday morning. So fingers crossed because prob's not gonna do that well after the C1 failure of an exam. It was just such a hard paper, I don't know what happened. Then I had like a 15 minute break or so, so I'd been doing that for like another couple hours, I wanna say, like maybe like two hours I spent doing that. So I had a little break for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then I cracked on with the paper, I think. I'm trying to read this writing upside down. I think that's a January 2011, it was a C2 paper. Yeah, something like that. It was an all right paper, didn't mind it. And as you can see in the background, I also had some music on. Sometimes I can listen to music when I revise, sometimes I can't, but when I'm doing a paper, I get quite bored. So if I have music on, it just means that I like, don't get bored and don't get distracted and I just get on with doing the paper. So that was what I did.
by the time I finished that, I'm pretty sure that took me an hour to do. So it was five o'clock when I finished that. So I'd been doing work from like, what was the time? Half one till five. And I think I had about a half hour, 15 minute break in between. And the last thing I wanted to do for that day was do my presentation that I've got to do for textiles. It's such a waste of my time. I'm not even gonna lie because this doesn't count towards anything. I feel like it's kind of pointless and we could just learn the information. We don't have to do a whole presentation on it. But either way, got to do what you got to do. So I was doing that presentation, which bored me out of my mind. So yeah, that was everything that I did that day. I think it was a really productive day. I literally got everything done on my list that I needed to get done. Um, so yeah, literally everything was done. So it's pretty productive. Feel like I've done like a good chunk of revision, maybe like six, seven hours. I'm not really sure. Didn't really do the maths. Um, so yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and I'll make sure I'll reply and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.